Today I'm in the studio of Barbara Blake, artist and uh, friend renowned. This is her little studio in her little house. And here we have Barbara. Hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello, hello. You look very sneaky there. <laughs> Barbara, I wanted to ask you, and I'll start you with the, the toughy question. Why do you paint? Because I love it. You love it, so it makes you happy. Well, it makes me happy. Sometimes it makes me very frustrated, too, <laughs> because I don't know how to get what I want or correct something that looks off. You know, only the artist's eye would know it's off when you're in the middle of a painting, but it's frustrating at times. But I love playing with colors, color and design. So did you, have you done art all your life, painting, that no. sort of thing? What's funny, when I was 10 years old, I was in fifth grade, and I got a book on cartooning, how to draw cartoons. I was going to be a cartoonist at the age 10. I can still draw a mean penguin for <laughs> So I, mean, I didn't do much with it to, well, we moved around a lot, so I didn't do much in grammar school. I took an art course in college and was very good at design. People, my friends asked me, fix mine up, fix mine up. But then I ran a retreat center uh, outside of Chicago. Then I was in my late 30s. And it was a very bad winter, emotionally, as well as the weather. I think I was going, I know I was going through my midlife stuff. So I thought, I'm going over to this next town and take an art class. So I took a pottery class where you got to center the clay. Yeah. And it was so therapeutic that I took several pottery classes. Really? So for maybe five years or so, I did a lot of pottery and made whimsical things and you know, different kind of containers and stuff. And then when I came here, I took a Saturday afternoon class with Glenn Fox on painting. When did you come here? To Colorado Springs? Uh, the fall of 89. The fall of 89, okay. So I think it was maybe a year later I took that class from her. And then I've been taking classes from Glenn in the last maybe 30 years so yep. I let go of the pottery pretty much I dabbled in it a little bit for the first few years I started painting and then I just did all kind of water media with Gwen you know we started out with acrylics and gouache and watercolor and then I I stuck with uh, acrylics pretty much and doing abstracts so I don't know that many people realize when they first meet you that you are a nun. Sister of Mercy, yeah, I have mm -hmm. been for many long years. Many long years. How has the art been affected by your profession or how has your profession been affected by the art? Interesting. We have a number of artists in the Sisters of Mercy and some pretty good ones, professional artists. Um, I would say more it's the spirituality rather than being a sister of mercy per se that has affected my art. It's, um, what's behind my abstract paintings is the desire to show the energy that is connected with all of us, you know, that that energy that's there. Yes. That and, and so rather than just paint the surface of something, I'm trying to express the energy that's underneath. So oh. that that's more of a spiritual basis. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when probably the time I which was many years ago that I was beginning to get to know you, that you were doing and you did do for several years a goddess series. True. Yeah, Can you talk to me about the Goddess series? I had some books and some groups that I was in that were talking about goddesses and various, you know, I, I, I guess various artists from different Eastern, Eastern or Western backgrounds, I don't remember. 
anyway, I was just into learning more about goddesses. And uh, so they crept into my work, I guess. That's why. Okay. Well, I know you have said to me that we're all goddesses. So I thought that was... Uh, I actually thought that was very interesting coming from a Catholic nun. That I was interested in goddesses? Yes. Oh. Isn't that, and it, maybe that says more about me than it says about you. Oops, we'll edit that out. My finger slipped up. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it, was, maybe it was a way of getting away from the patriarchy of the Catholic Church. Ah, okay, okay. Consciously or unconsciously, right. I don't remember. Into the feminine divine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can go for that. So we have this upcoming show at Cruiser Gallery by we. You're in our our art group, our critique group that's been going for so many years under, as you mentioned, Gwen Fox's tutelage. Uh, what has doing a show like this motivated you to do? Or has it motivated you to do anything? I don't know if I'm doing anything different. It's fun getting in a show with people that I've been working with and studying with for years. That's the fun part of it. I don't know if I'm doing anything different. Okay. Okay. As we all, as you'll probably mention, we all have our different styles. Yes. Even though we've been working together for so many years with Glenn. Yeah, we've got a very supportive uh, environment rather than a paint like this environment. Yeah. 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 Even though it's a critique group. You know, some of my friends will say, well, do they ever say anything mean? <laughs> no, that's not the point. We give each other suggestions to help each other, other out of puzzling parts of our paintings. Paintings, or, right. Or we bring a painting and we know something is wrong and we know we don't know how to go to the next step and the group helps. So, Okay, I love yeah, that. I do too, I do too. Um, one of the things that we have all, we, by then, I, I, there again, I'm using the term we because of the critique group, are excited for you to be showing is your Little Girl series. Yeah, and I, that was a surprise how she popped into my painting. Well, tell us about it. This, well, this must be at least five paintings ago, so that could be even, I don't know, maybe three years ago that this first... She first appeared, little black girl, in my painting. I can't, I can't remember if she was flying a kite or what she was doing in the first one, but, and I just thought, oh well, maybe it's part, part of Black Lives Matter and that's in my consciousness or whatever. And it wasn't until I had done maybe the second or the third painting that I realized that having done some past life stuff uh, with a couple that used to live near here in Woodland Park, one of them, my past lives was I was a little black girl somewhere probably during the Revolutionary War period or something because my mother and I were living in this what looked like a big fort. It had some kind of flag on top, but I didn't recognize the flag. She was running the grocery store and I was maybe, I don't know, six, seven, eight years old. And the white teacher was teaching me how to read on the slide because she wasn't supposed to teach black people how to read. So the little black girl is a product of a past life. Fascinating. Yeah, and I didn't know that when I first started painting her. Uh, no, yeah. I, it it may, brings to mind where does our inspiration come from? I mean, I'm, I think that's a question we all ask ourselves. And others ask us, what inspires you? Yeah. What inspires you to paint? Hmm. I think just love, love, loving to play with colors and design and knowing that underneath all this is that divine energy that interconnects us all. Yeah. Whether it's up front in my consciousness when I'm painting or I'm just playing with design and color. I think that's that's basically what it's fun. You know, when you're when you're really at your best, it's fun. Absolutely. To play with colors and design. Do you ever lose track of time? Every 
once in a while. Every once in a while. Oh, all right. What gives you the greatest joy? In, in the painting? Yeah. Seeing something come together that I really feel is pleasing at the end. Like, yeah, that turned out great. <laughs> so it's the end product for you in a lot of ways. Yeah, I would say the most pleasure. I do enjoy the process. But okay. having something turn out what I think is well, well done, yeah. yeah whether anybody else thinks. Though it's very helpful, it's very affirming to me when our critique group thinks the painting turned out well.